Hey guys, what's happening? Leroy here. And you know, something came to mind. I haven't really looked at the Judaism faith and their perspective in a long time. So I wanted to do a reaction to a video that kind of gives me insight into the Jewish perspective. And this one is specifically, I found this video, it's about why Jews don't want to convert to Christianity. So I want to see what's there, like what's the thought process behind this? Because in studying religion, you would know that Judaism pretty much was the starting platform for the rise of Christianity. Jesus was a Jew, his disciples were Jewish, Paul the Apostle was also a Jew. So let's take a look at this video, it's very short and sweet, and then I'm going to share more comments at the end. Why don't Jews convert to Christianity? Well, Gut men the other day I was walking out of the old city here in Yushalayim through Jaffa Gate and there were four or five American tourists that were not Jews, they were Christians and they were handing out brochures to Jews trying to convert the Jews to their religion. Why don't Jews want to convert to Christianity? That's the question. For 2,000 years Christians have been trying to convert us and we've refused. They've even expelled us from their countries if we didn't convert. They threatened to kill us if we wouldn't convert. But Jews did not want to convert to become Christians. Why? What's so wrong with their religion? They point into the Bible many places and say, you see, this is pointing to them. Yeah. But what does the Bible really say? What is the main point of their religion? A Jewish man was killed, hanging on a cross, hanging on a pole. And because of his death, they believe their sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. But what does the Torah say? The Torah clearly says, no man will die for another man's sins. The fathers will not die for the sins of the sons, and the sons will not die for the sins of the fathers. Every man will die for his own sins. You see here the western wall, by the entrance to the men's side, there's a guard standing there. His job is it to see to the women go to the women's side, and the men go to the men's side. Men are to cover their heads, with a covering that's provided there. And if anybody is wearing a cross, they have to hide it. Put it in a pocket. Oh, the cross. Come inside, please. Thank you. What's so offensive about the cross? It's the very symbol of their belief. Torah says if a man is executed, he's to be hung on a pole. For everyone to see that he was executed. Before nightfall, his body must be taken down from that pole. Why? Because a man hanging on a pole is a curse to curse God. God. This is what the Bible says. The very symbol of their religion is a symbol of a curse to God. Now do you see why Jews don't want to convert to their religion? Hmm, I wonder if this is the only reason or probably this is one of the main reasons. It was really interesting to finally hear and see the perspective of Jews and their interpretation of the, the scriptures, the Old Testament. And I know Christians believe that the Old Testament scriptures point to things that happen in the, in the New Testament. And I could see how it would be very, very, very difficult for a Jew to accept the fact that another Jewish man, in this case, Jesus, was actually hung on a cross and put to death. Because in the, the scripture, in the Old Testament, the Jewish Bible and the Torah, it says that if that happens, that is a curse. Yeah, I mean, you're not really gonna get past that point. So, okay, so guys, is this really now just a matter of interpretation? Because I've, I've done so many videos now where we're looking at scriptures from the Old Testament, the, the New Testament, looking at Hebrew and Aramaic and Greek and Arabic and the Quran and everything. And it's like, everybody has a different interpretation. So, I mean, like, what do we do with that? That is actually a big question I have. What do we do with that? Here we have a Jew. He's so fully convinced that Christianity ain't it because Christianity contradicts the scripture. The whole religion of Christianity is complete contradiction to Judaism. But then, you know, Christians would say that actually 
Jews, if they read their scriptures, they would see that it pointed to what the New Testament said. Then you get the Muslims now, who will actually, if the Christians and the Jews read their scriptures in the right way, then they would see the need for the newest revelation, the Quran. And I'm like, but everybody's reading the same thing. How come there's so many different interpretations? What do I do with that, guys? And honestly, I'm being serious. Like, what do I, what do I do with that? I'm like frustrated. I think the reason why I'm feeling frustrated is because I don't have an answer or it's kind of like I'm not, I don't see a direction to go. I don't know. I just, it just, it's just weird, like knowing that and I'm seeing like, you know, each person, Jew, Christian, they make great points for why they believe what they believe. Some would die for their belief and they're just so sure and confident and you see them and they live their lives many of them live amazing great fulfilling lives and i'm like what are we all missing here that we're not seeing and that leaves us with so many different interpretations so i'm like i don't know what that is or if we've been missing anything so i think that's why i'm frustrated because yeah it's just leaving me with my arms tied up to like okay what to do next so I think I'm just gonna, you know, stop talking there and I am gonna go and look more into this. Maybe we'll find another video that kind of sheds some light a little bit more. But anyways, guys, thanks for, thanks for watching at least. And uh, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. You know, I got questions. This video, it, yeah, it just, mm, it's hard to describe, but I got questions, you know, and I want to hear what you have to say down below if you're enjoying these videos here on ftd speaks leave a like and if this is your first time here to the channel hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join me on my journey as i continue to explore the different religions and cultures of our world all right guys i'm getting out of here i'm gonna go do some more research hopefully i can calm down a little bit you know all right guys see you next time